Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about block and inline elements. So let's get started. I have opened brackets and now I will go ahead and create a new file and I will save it as block-inline-element dot html and I will go ahead and write the following html so we have the doc type html opening and closing html tag opening and closing head tag we have set the title to block and inline elements and we have the body tag now let us go ahead and open this in live preview all right now what is a block element well, in HTML, a block element is an element that always starts from a new line and takes up the entire width and other elements starting after the block element will always start from a new line. Some of the commonly used HTML block elements are the div tag, the heading tags, all the heading tags h1 h2 till h6 the form tag we'll talk about form tag in the form video the paragraph tag and so on so let us create a heading tag h1 and set the content to heading h1 and you can see the output it is taking up the entire width similarly another block element is the paragraph tag and it also takes up the entire width and starts from a new line so you can see the output the paragraph starts at a new line after the heading tag and takes up the entire width Similarly, we have the div tag. We'll talk about div tag in the later part of this video. And similarly, the horizontal line tag that is used to create horizontal lines and form tag, which is used to create form. We'll talk about form in the form tutorial video. And the list tags like the unordered list tag, the ordered list tag, or the definition list tag. We'll talk about list in the list tutorial. Another block element is the preformatted tag. Like if we write hello world, you can see it takes up the entire width. as well as block code tag. Now let us talk about the inline elements. These are the HTML elements that not always start from a new line and they take up only the required amount of width depending on their content and commonly used inline elements are the span tag and formatting tags like the bold tag, italic tag, underline tags and so on. So let us go ahead and create a span tag. This is a span tag content so as you can see the span element is an inline element and it is taking the width equal to the length of its content similarly if we have a paragraph and let's say the content is this is a and we have a bold tag which is an inline element So 
So in this example, we have a paragraph. This is a bold tag example. And you can see we have an inline element, the B tag. So if you look at the output, the width of this inline element is equal to the width of the content. Similarly, we can create some more inline elements using some more inline element tags like let's say we have a paragraph and we create an inline element using the italic tag or the i tag so this and then we create another inline element using the underline tag or the u tag is and we can also use the strong tag to create another inline element uh, and likewise we can also use the code tag to create inline elements sample and let's say the em tag paragraph So you can see the output. We have some inline elements inside the paragraph tag. Now let us talk about grouping of HTML elements into block groups and inline groups using div tag and span tag respectively. So in HTML, we use the div tag to create a block group. That is a group that starts from a new line and takes up the entire width. And any element after that group starts from the next line. And using the span tag, we create an inline group, which not necessarily start from a new line and the width of the inline group is equal to the width of the content. So let us go ahead and create a block group using the div tag. And we can set the ID attribute as well as class attribute to the opening div tag. So let's say we give this opening diff tag a class attribute and we set the value to let's say container. Now inside this opening and closing div tag, we can include some other HTML elements. So let's say we have another div and we are giving it a class header. So now we have this div having class container and inside it we have a div having class header. So this div is now the parent element and this div is the child. And this is called nesting of elements. Similarly, inside this header div, we can have some more HTML elements. Let's say we create h1 tag and let's say we set the value to heading h1 and similarly we can create more divs let's say we give this div a class page content and inside this div let's say we have a paragraph 
hello world and we create another div having class footer and we create a paragraph let's say this is a footer so now we have a parent div having class container and it has three child elements or child divs which are block elements so we have this div having class header another div having class page dash content and the third div having class footer and each of this div are having their child elements like for example div class header is having a child element h1 this div is having a paragraph as its child element and similarly this div having class footer is having a child element paragraph this is a footer so we are nesting the HTML elements and creating a parent child tree. Now let us talk about the inline group. In HTML, we use the span tag to create inline groups. So let us go ahead and create a block group using div and let us give this a class container now inside this div which is a block element let us create a paragraph let's say this and then we create an inline group using span so we create a span tag and let's say the content is is and let's say we want to make the word sample bold using the b tag which is inside the span opening and closing tag now after the closing span tag we write the word paragraph so as you can see this paragraph is a block element and inside this paragraph we have a span tag creating an inline group and inside this span element we have another inline element the b tag so we are nesting the inline element inside another inline element inside a block element inside a block element so this b element a bold element is a child of the span element which is a child of this paragraph element which in turn is a child of this div having class container all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com the link will be in the description and all the codes that we're writing in this tutorial series i will put them in my github repository the link will be in the description so please check that out and if you find this video interesting then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye